for the most part, he was pretty much quiet inside that courtroom. He answered a couple of questions asked by the judge, but you could also see at one point him trembling inside his seat while he was surrounded by several agents with the U.S. Marshal's office. Cameras were rolling as Esteban Santiago left the Broward County Jail. He was wearing a red jumpsuit and shackles as he headed to the federal courthouse in Fort Lauderdale for his morning hearing. Once inside the courtroom, a magistrate judge asked him several questions to try and determine if he could afford an attorney or if he needed a public defender. Santiago told the judge the last place he worked was with the Signal 88 security company in Anchorage, Alaska back in November. And before that, he was with the U.S. Army. His ex-girlfriend says the Iraqi war veteran came back from his last deployment a changed man. He started acting weird when he was in Puerto Rico and we had let veterans know that he was having some mental problems, that he wasn't feeling all right, and they did nothing. Santiago is accused of shooting and killing five people and injuring several others inside the Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport Friday afternoon. No mention in court Monday morning about why he flew to Fort Lauderdale and no mentioning of ISIS. Santiago was appointed a public defender and prosecutors requested a pretrial detention because they say he is considered dangerous and a flight risk. I couldn't believe it. I just was in shock. Now, a detention hearing is set for Tuesday afternoon here at the federal courthouse in Fort Lauderdale. If he is convicted, well, he faces the death penalty. Reporting live in Fort Lauderdale, Angela Rosier, WPBF 25 News.